blessed and loving Heavenly Father. At a time like this, King of mercy, we want to look to you. First of all, to thank you, Lord. And then, King of glory, look to you for the future. We know many times we have bypassed you and then looked at things that do not matter. But at a time like this, we want to thank you also because you remind us about those things that we have forgotten. When we come like this, there is nothing that you have not spoken to us. Some people have spent as many as 30 years in your, in your presence. Lord Jesus, what have we not heard? But King of Mercy, our humanity always tells us that whatever we have had is history. And we wait for what is coming. But that's not with you, God. Because you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Whatever you speak is always in the present tense. And therefore, man is responsible for the same. So when we come like we have come, Lord, we have come to get the power that we may be able to do what we hear. And then when we have heard, we move, we move out in the same power to demonstrate it outside there. Are you not going to have mercy upon us today? Think of mercy that there will be something that will follow the word to keep it like in the Shekinah glory that it will always be fresh in our hearts that it will be active in our lives and put us in a state of humility and submission we want to thank you for everyone Lord that has come it is you that gave them the victory and led them to this place. We thank you for every healing that has taken place. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for every provision in every household. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, even for your servant, our pastor, who is not here with us. But you are aware that he is outside they are doing something for the kingdom it's our prayer therefore that you may be with him guard him protect him and give him every revelation that is necessary for the people we thank you for his family Lord at least you have kept them healthy you have provided for them Oh, how we thank you, Lord. Merciful Father, this morning again, we are looking to you for your word. Master, we know the service is never complete unless your word has been read. And what we are asking, Father, is as we read the word, you will come and then manifest it to the people. Lord, in the same spirit that was at Pentecost, in the same spirit that was at Malachi 4, we are asking therefore God that you humble us in your presence, forgiving our iniquity and sin, taking away everything, Father, that is a hindrance among us. And we come against those powers of darkness that resist us and hold most poor away. We want to thank you, Jesus. Praying in the name of the Lord Jesus. 
asking for favor, asking for the Holy Spirit, asking for revelation, all in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, while everybody feels welcome, I want us to look at the scriptures. And we are going to read in two places. We shall begin at uh, we shall begin in Genesis chapter 17. And go, then go to Ezekiel 44. So in Genesis 17, from verse 1, it says, And when Abraham was 90 years old and 9, which means he was 99, the Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the Almighty God. Walk before me and be thou perfect. And I will make my covenant between me and thee, and will multiply thee exceedingly. And Abraham fell on his face, and God talked with him, saying, As for me, behold, my covenant is with thee, and thou shalt be a father of many nations. Neither shall thy name any more be called Abraham, but thy name shall be Abraham. For a father of many nations have I made thee. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful, and I will make nations of thee, and the things shall come out of thee. And I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed after thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant be a God unto thee and to thy seed after thee. And I will give unto thee and to thy seed after thee the land wherein thou art a stranger, all the land of Canaan, for an everlasting possession, and I will be their God. And God said unto Abraham, Thou shalt keep my covenant, therefore thou and thy seed after thee in their generations. Ibrahimu,我们的基督徒们，我们的基督徒们，我们的基督徒们，我们的基督徒们，我们的基督徒们，我们的基督徒们，我们的基督徒们，我们的基督徒们，我们的基督徒们，我们的基督徒们，我们
Narun, kene mbe wele wawe. Atelu ndi di wele, walo mela Ibrahimu, wewe, kano linda indakano ya sena shirio, wewe, ilumi toluo uo, umigolo, chawe. Amen. Amen. Let us look at Ezekiel 44. From verse 5. And the Lord said unto me, Son of man, mark well, and behold with thine eyes, and hear with thine ears all that I say unto thee concerning all the ordinances of the house of the Lord, and all the laws thereof, and mark well the entering in of the house with every going forth of the sanctuary. And thou shalt set the rebellious even to the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, O ye house of Israel, let it suffice you of all your abominations, in that ye have brought into my sanctuary strangers, uncircumcised in heart, and uncircumcised in flesh, to be in my sanctuary, to pollute it. Even my house, when he offer bre my bread, the fat and the blood, and they have broken my covenant because of all your abominations. And they have not kept the charge of my holy thing, but ye have set keepers of my charge in my sanctuary for yourselves. Thus says the Lord God, no stranger uncircumcised in heart, nor uncircumcised in flesh, shall enter into my sanctuary of any, of any stranger that is among the children of Israel. Amen. Arindumu kasia wano merase mwana wa mundu. Menyele sabulai, male, bwane ni timo ni toa uo, uulide ni kukuru kuwa uo. Yosi tana biyesi, kukulomena wabia ambaka na kubila chilo yetu yomu kasia. Narun, makambila kosi tana kalimo, male wi menyele sabulai, uku injila, uwe mutu, ni mihurra, uku ama apu kosefu. Nawe, Kana ulomelebo babe dima, nganyo itu ya Israeli, umukasia wele alomai. Oh, nyue nyue itu ya Israeli, ya kachiba male nyue ku bietimbi kote nyue tosi. Mungeli ndi, enye mwarere, apu kosefu ase, vakwa, vakashebe wa mumioyo, ati vakashebe wa mumobili. Kuba mwa apu kosefu asi kuchinyalu, kuchinyalu tao. Nishyo itu yase, yesi, nye nye, muonga, akumukati, michiminawa, mikamafuchi. Wamala, bafu niya kakenda kano yase, uluwe kuba, uluwe kuba, zindi, zindi, kote nye tosu. Nye nye, mwa kuli nda, shira chilo. Shie vivi ndu yase viko sefut. Ne. Nye nye. Mwarere o. Bali nda. Shira chilo shio. Mutu ye buko. Mwa. Abuko sefu. Mwishifuko. Shie nye. Aryo. Aluma umukasi ya wele. Bao umukwa. Ukashe bewa mumo. Na mwa kashe bewa mumo vi. Une njira. Abuko sefu asi. Mubo ba kwa. Bali ya karikari, e babana ba isi la iti. Bless the reading of the Lord. Tenari ya mukasi ya liru yu. May God bless the reading of his word. We know you think of you so many more yewe. Bless it. Amen. Yeah, we just want to thank God again this morning. That he has given us an opportunity in his presence again. Wakwele ngabi yekuba ebra isi wewe lundi. Because we know. Many people would have wanted maybe to be here. 
They have not been permitted to come. Not because they don't want. But because the Spirit of God has not led them to this place. Why? Because the children of God are led of His Spirit. And which better place would God lead His children to other than to go into His presence? Other than to go to where? He has a covenant with them. Yes, Today, I want to repeat, and as I want to thank my brothers that have been standing here for the purpose of the ministry. We know it may be taken for granted. It may be taken as usual. But we know that in this day, the word of God is rare. That's according to prophecy. What did Daniel say? People would be moving up and down. Trying to seek wisdom. But where will they find it? He didn't say they will find it. But there are a few that God himself visits. And when he has visited them, he has always allocated them a portion in his word. And those are the lucky ones. Those are the ones that the Bible has referred to as the seed. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And today, we are looking. We are looking at who? We are looking at Abraham. The father of the faith. Meeting with God. And when he has met God, God is saying he's giving him a covenant. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And what is a covenant? A covenant just an agreement between a, 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 a two people or groups of people. And there are many ways depending on tradition how people make covenant how people make agreement but we are looking at the orient how did they make the agreement how did they make the agreement these are people who would kill an animal and when they kill the animal, they, 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 they cleave it in two. When they have put the animal in two, they stand in between the dead animal. And then, they write something on paper. And then they tear the paper in two. You keep the other part. He keeps the other part. And then the testimony of the dead animal comes back to you. What does it mean? That when you break the agreement, you should die like this animal. Praise be the name of the Lord. So you can see the importance of an agreement that was ever made by any two people in the Orient. It's not like this day where God tells us that this end time people will be truth breakers. They will not care as 
as long as kasadi there is a way of going around the agreement kaseba wengeli iye ku kharachi kuba ku mkwangwanya they go around it bachi kharachi and put you ba mala ba kurew in a mess ba kura we they put you at a loss we ba kubona bari wo fira because they have met kuluwe kuba ba kolere a way around the agreement eh ba kalile shiku ba ku kwangwanya but now when we are looking at the orient where abraham stood as ibrahim where god stood with him as where man ibrahim god where is not standing are you him in the grieved animals with abraham musolo mu bia yo bino bifwire ba bies ba rane mon ibrahim he is standing there alone ye we mire mo yenye which means kama lukas is making an agreement ali ku kole kwangwa without condition ai kali ko kakalu why rushi because he is god kulwe kuba ni ali we and he never failed atenga ni akas ka everything that he does kuli shoshe sa kola everything that he say kuli shoshe sa lo comes to pass yolelela so that in this agreement nyo ndi kwangwa nyi man has no part to play mundu ali ko ni chisi ta chese nyi kama to present himself before god na mwe ku rera we rebra iswa we as long as he is before god kasaba anga ali si we that is in a surrendered state yo yo nye mumpera i ye ku is able to fulfill his part wele aranya la kukuolele sa chese alum blessed be the name of the lord wele aru yu wena what are the terms ari ya bu kalubuli what are the terms of this agreement bu kalubenda kano ino buli The terms of this agreement are who can we enter can you know ni bwo one how to multiply you exceedingly we can angwa ndakani seru kalina he's only one ali mutwera busi with his wife no mechira mawewe and on top of that hunga chikwa 99 years old him yaka chenda mumwenda but nay without a child ali ko no mwana and his wife Oh mukirama wewe 5 years later uh, uh, younger kimyaka kirano kimyaka li kumi ngali mwana kuni kumset so hali it meant chama isa chiri we passed aba babira what god was talking about yes we ali kukali ka they could not come ngai banyalo kwit and bring forth a child basalo mwana so they could not stand in this covenant with god ngai banyalo kwimi ka munda kano ino niwe what was going to be their part che ariya be chime nyache sibu bana kola chiri what were they going to do to come out of barrenness abi chine che sibu bana kola no barule mubukumba there was nothing they could do ba che sibu bana kola blessed be the name of the lord no mukasi ali but everything was in god's heart ne buli chine che bana kola ka we therefore in this covenant kale na chiro munda kano we are seeing god kuli kuba na we saying he is going to do it ali kula mari ta ushikola he is promising ali ko shobi that is going to multiply him exceedingly ara na mwanda kanisa na ari what was the part of abraham this is that i play mundi chochi the part of abraham was to have faith in what god was saying ari lubi mbirwa i play mu aba kuba nikufuchiria mu yesu era ali kulo praise be the name of the lord wera ru yona how did he demonstrate that ari chocho acho chesa na ari he fell on his face nie akwa mu moni mu akwa kubwe ni bwe and started worshiping god what and you are with sayawe blessed be the name of the lord wera ru yona what about you today ne we chalero when you hear the word of god nga wa ulirero moyawe and his it's a promise atenga chiri chiso bi what happens to you chira chiku koleka do you do you worship god we sayawe because of what he has promised you kulwa be bia sa usubisa oh you get out of the church door na mwo ramuli yango mwe kanisa and you have forgotten what he talked about nga we bi bia sa kan chileko blessed be the name of the lord ya ru yona the second thing check habili he nie was renamed atwish wali pushaka blessed be the name of the lord ya ru yona he was abraham ba mulanga bari ibrahim instead of Abraham mochi fosha Ibrahim which means kama kulukasion in the face of God mumo ni mwewe when you come ngawetsi you have to believe wako fitili when you have believed ngawa fitili you have also to be transformed waka nukalusiwe you are not going to say the presence of God okay We are not going to stand the presence of God without a transformation. 
you will still remain a stranger to the covenant because it is before God that everyone that comes to him must must of needs be transformed must be changed from what state from a carnal state into a spiritual state because as long as you are carnal you are an enemy of God you are a stranger blessed be the name of the Lord what is the next thing that I will make the exceedingly fruitful and I will make many nations of thee and the kings shall come out of thee you will be exceedingly fruitful you will not be buried in the presence of God you are not going to remain the same fruiting for the world and what are those those are fruits of because God called you to transform you so that you will bring forth fruits for the kingdom fruits of the spirit that has called you from the world you had the spirit of the world and God has converted you and after your conversion what do we expect actually what will you show that you are converted are the fruits you bear blessed be the name of the Lord so that when we are looking at you you are not the same Ibrahim you are not the same Abraham but today you are Abraham exceedingly fruitful and you are a father of many you are supposed to bring many to the kingdom of God by influence by preaching by the faith you hold on what you know you are supposed to bring children for God why? because you have been brought into the body by the spirit of God and he says that every, every seed will come through the flesh Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why? Every tree has its own body. Every, every beast has its own body. And now, you have a human body. Through that body, you have brought forth your seeds. But the body of God is the, is the church. And through the church, it is supposed to bring forth the seed of God. And when you are called into the church, you are come into the body of Jesus Christ. You are expected to be prolific, prolific in multiplication on the seed of God that is why wherever you are we question why you don't influence people to believe are we together we question why we don't, you don't influence others to believe praise be the name of the Lord because you must multiply you must bring many people to Christ so in this covenant it was a covenant of multiplication continuous multiplication Blessed be the name of the Lord. And then God was saying, was telling us Abraham to go away. But after him, there must be a seed that remains for Abraham. And it was incumbent upon, upon God to bring forth a people that must stand in for Abraham. Praise be the name of the Lord. 
yiwe. Because Abraham, Reva Ibrahim, after he had gone away, what would happen? Shina shina be shina would he die? Abe anafua. With the message that he had, Nibur Mebwesi Abe anabu. Would he die? Abe anafua. With everything that he had had from God. Abe stretches out your promise way. God was responsible. Well, Abe anafua. To make sure. Kubo nene lan. That the message continues. Arbur Mebwe yonje. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Well, Arbur yonje. That salvation has no end. Arbur yonje. Arbur yonje. Come out. And who is doing it? Who is doing it? It is God that is doing it himself. He is the only one that is participating in this covenant. He is the one that is making it come to pass. All of these conditions that are in the covenant. It is God making them come to pass. Why? Salvation is of the Lord. Praise be the name of the Lord. You have nothing to do with it. Or else you'll boast. But it must remain a work of grace that God alone is able to perform. And when he has performed it upon you, you remain thankful because you had nothing to do with it. That's why today we are seeing many people missing the mark because they believe they are doing something for God. They are doing something for this salvation. No, it is God in it all. Why? He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the All in All. That God who called Abraham and said, Walk ye before me and be ye perfect. Be ye complete. Be ye whole. He, he, he was missing something in his life. And as long as he was walking before God, God was going to Perfecting. God was going to make good out of the losses that were in his life. Out of those things that he had missed in his life. Think of anything that you have missed in this life. But you are walking before God. You have faith that it will be recovered. Is it physical barrenness? Are you a, a woman that is looking for a baby? Just keep walking before God. We will get the baby. He'll make you perfect. Is it sickness that you have? Continue walking before God. Is the healer of all your diseases? What is that problem that you are thinking about? That God cannot come to deal with. It means you are you are wanting to deal to have a deal in the in the covenant. Now God wants to make sure that he is, he is always known as a specialist in impossibility. Can you see that? Can he wants to maintain his position as a dealer of things that are impossible. And when a man looks at themselves, what are they going to see? Failure. But when they look at God, he makes up for their failure. He brings them in a state that is no more. Where other people see as abnormal man in the Walking before God is seeing all things possible. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What therefore have you to do? Only to walk before God. And then all things will be possible. You will be walking.
walking on a ground where faith is the cheer that pushes things and makes them work out and makes life easy makes your life simpler why? because when the spiritual comes in the physical it makes it better that's why sister when they look at you you are not the old woman they always talk about you are having that shining face Blessed be the name of the Lord. You may have one dress. You may have one shirt. But before God, your physical being has been cultured by His Spirit to return to youth. Blessed be the name of the Lord. That is what is in this covenant. That is what is in this covenant. The restoration also of your flesh making it appear better. Just go back and look at them that your companions in the village. How are they looking now? Are they looking like you? Some of them when they look at you they even want to hide Blessed be the name of the Lord. What are we saying? This is a covenant where God Himself is taking charge of things. Why? Because man has slid himself to a lesser position. Why? Why? Because of sin. But in the beginning, when God, when man was still God's image, the, the covenant between him and Adam was if I, if you do, you will do. Why? Because Adam, Adam and the God were in, in the same image. But when man fell, God took it upon himself that this one is now too weak. Too weak. He is now too weak to do anything in this covenant. If I take it upon myself to do it for him. And today let us see one saying amen. Let us see one Wrapping their hand because the burden of the covenant is upon God Himself. And you only participate in one that has surrendered, given yourself over. And that is what is very difficult for you. That's the biggest problem that you are having. And where does it lead us to? It is leading us to Ezekiel 44. Let us see what he is saying. From verse 5. He is saying, And the Lord said unto me, Son of man, mark a well and behold with thine eye and I hear with thine ear all that I say concerning thee concerning all the ordinances of the house of the Lord. Verse 7. Blessed be the name of the Lord. When you come in the presence of God, what are you supposed to be? You, have, you are supposed to look carefully and to know exactly. And as you hear, you hear well what is being said. Why? Because they are now giving you what? What are they giving you? The terms of the covenant in the form of what the Bible is calling 
ordinances. The way you are going to live before your God. The way you are going to determine your future before your God. This, when you come in the house of God, you are supposed to hear. You are supposed to know. You are supposed to understand. But the problem is, when we come in the house of God, we are fillers of positions. We sit in the chairs. We sit in the pews. And if you are asked, what have you heard? The answer is the preacher really spoke. But what did you hear? You didn't hear anything. You were hearing noise. And yet, the Son of God, out of a thunder, must hear the voice of God. But when you sit, in the presence of God and only hear thunder then you are not part of the covenant because the thunders are to hide the message blessed be the name of the Lord and now when you are here and you are only hearing thunder what is happening to you you are missing the mark you are, finding, you are finding yourself on the side of the river trash but the river must continue the Holy Spirit must go on blessed be the name of the Lord so when you are here you are to mark well you are to hear and the thing the ordinances of the house of the Lord and the laws thereof and mark well the entering in of the house blessed be the name of the Lord how you enter into the kingdom how you are going to live in the kingdom blessed be the name of the Lord why there are many there are many mansions. There are many mansions. Where in my house? Yes. In the kingdom of God. How do you enter? Blessed be the name of the Lord. All of it is being taught here. So when you come here, you are not coming here to fill space. You are not coming here to waste time. You are not coming here to appear so that you will not be asked why did you miss to come to church? Is that your fear? Because the brother is going to visit you and say why didn't you come to church? So let me go and appear there. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What are we saying? In verse 6. And thou shalt set the rebellious. Even to the house of Israel. What have they to hear? Thus says the Lord. O ye house of Israel. Let it suffice. You of your abomination. And Peter tells us. That let the days of our sin be suffices. There are still people who are among us. But what are they longing for? A time when they can be able to hide and drink a bit alcohol a time when they can hide from the sun maybe may be go to Nairobi that is far enough from God and then you fornicate or commit adultery blessed be the name of the Lord but he's telling us that let the days of our sin suffice. 
those days be enough. We, are li- we lived in those vile affections. Where we lived in sin. How can a man and his wife live in a divorced state in their marriage? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Where are you now? How can a man be a son of God when he doesn't love his wife? How can a man be a son of God when he's not caring for his family? I am not talking about you providing what you cannot be able to do. But being able to give what is in your ability. We have seen men who hide their money outside the, the walls of their houses. And then enter their houses. What do they want to depict the woman? They don't have anything. So what the woman has to do, go to the neighborhood and beg for salt. But here is a man with money. Where is he spending it? And you are a Christian. Where are you spending your money at? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Are you able to care for your family? Let the days of your abomination suffice you. Let your mind be reformed. Let your mind be reformed. Because you are supposed to be transformed when you come in the presence of God so that the people in your family will start understanding that we have a different dad. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Why? Because God has visited you. Because you are keeping the covenant of the Lord. Verse 7 he says, In that you have both brought into my sanctuary strangers and circumcised in heart. Where is the heart? Blessed be the name of the Lord. People are not circumcised in the heart. What what do you do when you are circumcising? You cut off extra flesh and and leave the most important part. Now, here is a man who comes into the the sanctuary of God as a stranger and he lives there as a stranger why because his heart is still seeking for the world what are we doing we are sharpening our knives we are sharpening our swords the word of God is a two-edged sword sharper than a two-edged sword it cuts what does it do it also discerns and that's the word of God what is it doing now discerning the hearts of the people and in that what are we seeing? The altar where God is supposed to sit. The sanctuary where God is supposed to be worshipped. What are we finding there? We are finding there animals that are not supposed to be sacrificed to God. We are finding spirits, evil spirits, in the hearts of the people. 
What are they doing? They are sitting before God. But they are strangers in the house of God. What makes them strangers? They have their spirits that are inhabiting them. They are giving them a strange nature. Instead of having a nature that has been transformed and being renamed to be children of God and to be a child of God you are given power that power that will divorce them spirits that are in your heart so that when you sit before God God is comfortable with you God knows this is my son in whom yes, I am pleased to dwell yes, blessed be the name of the Lord that is what was with Jesus Christ before God he was the son of God and God was able to say and pronounce to the world that he was pleased to dwell in him he became a sanctuary of the living God and today you people what is happening on the altar of God where God is supposed to sit where you are supposed to worship him you have put unclean animals instead of putting a real sacrifice the blood of Jesus Christ his spirit that is going to make you different blessed be the name of the Lord because what makes you different is your spirit why because the nature of the soul is the spirit blessed be the name of the Lord so what you will manifest outside there is what is upon your soul what determines your faith among other people among other people is the spirit that is upon you glory to God what are we saying today you are in the house of God you've come to church but what is in the sanctuary what is upon the altar that is in your heart has it been circumcised has the word of God got its way with you because we have said you are supposed to surrender blessed be the name of the Lord you have to give up all those things that are meaningless in the kingdom of God you have to let go and let God blessed be the name of the Lord that was Abraham he let go what did he let go he let the land that he was used to the companion the companion that we are supposed to, that he was supposed to enjoy within the land of in the land of uh, in the land of, of Assyria and then he went to a land a land that was new a land that was strange to him and he was supposed to live in that land as his own land he had, you have to leave the world which you were used to right from your birth and come into Jesus Christ a new land a land of plenty and then you explore the land enjoy the land live in the Fruitfully. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And when you are in the land, who is going to enjoy? It's going to be you who is going to 
mabadiliko kwa huyu who's getting good fruits okay. who's getting good fruit all you go na kama tunda kama in the prosperity of his children mo kubirira mu bana be baba mambo why uruachi cause has believed the why uru baba fujili lero apply the token rako kalo lero in his family mungu mwewe and today jalero his daughters are getting married in the lord ari bakana be bali kukwalisha mu sasa are getting married in the lord aso ale be bali kuira baka eating ali kulia of the fruit matunda of his own seed kelumi tolwe sadi ala has planted in his own land we sabi ala mwiswa ye glory to god what are we saying kina cha sikulukulo we are saying Don't leave a stranger in the house of the Lord. Don't leave uncircumcised in, in his sanctuary. Don't you pollute it by the way you are living. By, the, by your influence. What are you trying to do? You are trying to spread rumor in the house of God. Polluting those souls. Where were you going to just in a barrel? Turning them into unbelief. Ngoli kuti koba sabala be kufujili. Planting something that God has approved. Ngoli kubi yara chesi we la kula. Glory to God. What are we saying? Chesi chesi kuli kula. That you, Ngoli we, who lives in the presence of God, who many brothers were we, is supposed uaga to be circumcised. Who shebewa? You are supposed uaga not to pollute. Who can you allude? The congregation of the Lord. Libu sedi wali wele. His house, most of his kingdom, wing of where and then not you must be able wa kobanya to offer bread who on gave to be cut god is saying my bread where are you going to be cut just why is it his bread who are you going to be cut because you are harvesting where kubo ali kubo ali ali kuchesa from the seed who kwa mabulumi that he gave you where sa kuwe and that seed lumi to what is his word niero my yewe that word you know my yeah that you are partaking of yes you are going it is that bread niyo buku simatara it is making you consider Where is all you going to wame that is making you live boy you going to wame that is making you continue to desire yo bwa kutira wa we yo njara kufuyi u be a christian u bo mu kirisi to live who menya a life ngo ali mulam that is that is desirable nga ubula and questionable who menya bula mu bwesu kunde come so that when they look yo ndinga balole at you ma kubone they are going to say no my body if it need disagree with him abe kwanga be kufuchirisana na yote truly he is a christian nenga ngali yu mchirisitu even if anga ba are going to say anga ba all kinds of evil about you bana ukani ka kobi bibi yes they will not prove they are evil nenga bia sibakani ka bia be bisano ba kani they will say you are a witch bana ro mabari mulos but no one is going to stand before you no kunda ba ne bika bra and say you are a witch akula mari uli mulos it blessed be the name of the lord where are you now they are going to show forms of evil yes. none of them can prove it why because your testimony is wrapped in the blood of jesus christ yes yes come up to jesus christ thank you lord oh why are we saying the bread come up you are eating the bread both sima you are offering where you will go after you have eaten the wine when my wife will hear what is the testimony but you will be here that you bring out the people where you rera rabada the bread you are offering both sima where you rera after all when what you eat yes will ya is what energizes you you be able to come on glory to god where are you now after you have eaten the wine when my wife will hear then we shall get the testimony and what from the of that wine where am i coming out of you get talk about this Glory to God. Where are you? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Where are you, Luka? What are we saying? Sina cha kulukulo. The fat and the blood. Hori kimi na wali kamafu. And they have all broken uh and they have broken my covenant. Yalundi mafu ya kokeni. Of all your abomination. Inda kana yaselwe. We think because change you were supposed abe mwa to keep the covenant. Holy ndenda kana. By what? by offering true bread ngamuonga ichimika changa supposed to keep the covenant ma kuli ndena ka by circumcision wo bira munji mugwe mumba blessed be the name of the lord we are you are not doing that ari mu chwaje ukola what are you doing kila chesi muli wo you have broken the covenant ma funya chinenda ka you are seated here mwe kale but with a broken covenant nenda ka na ma funya oh my that's the that says the lord o mukasiolo How do you break the covenant? Verse 80 says and you have kept the charge of my holy thing. 
have not kept the charge of my own, my own, my own whole thing. But ye have set keepers of my charge in my sanctuary for yourself. This, this is exactly what happened. Today the message was preached. But it was preached for sister so and so. The message was preached. But exactly that was for the preacher himself. That message was preached But it was for the pastor's wife Look at that You are setting keepers You are setting keepers for yourself You are not in charge You are actually not keeping it for yourself you have said this is for Harende. Ah, ah, if you are not a Harende, is keeping that. Hey, are you a Harende? Now you said this is for Robert Mulundu. Hey, if you are Mulundu, that is that is his. But you must say, but you are Mulundu. But what about you? No way. You have set keepers. You come to church to distribute the message. Where we come, can you say who will not look at our brother? But you are not here to keep it for yourself. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So in verse 9 he says, Thus says the Lord God, No stranger, No stranger, Uncircumcised in his heart, No uncircumcised in his flesh, Shall enter into my sanctuary, Or any stranger that is among the children of Israel. The Bible tells us, Do not deceive yourself, Idolaters, Abusers of themselves, Shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Them that are offering idols on their hearts. In the sanctuary. They shall not inherit the kingdom of God. What are we saying? We are saying. That in Psalm 22. Let us go there. Psalm 22. From verse 29. What is he saying? Only they that be fat upon earth shall eat and worship. Glory to God. Why? I think. Let us go first to Psalm 106. Psalm 106. 106. We are looking at verse 15. Let us start at verse 13. They soon forgot the work, uh, the, his work. They, wait, they waited not for his counsel. After God had given them his covenant, they forgot. Because the, the company, what came in the company of the covenant, were the testimonies that God had with these people. Now they forgot. And when they had forgotten, they did it way again for God to come and do something else. And that is what has happened with the denomination. They have not waited for God to do something else in their generation. What do they do? They forget what God did. What do they offer on their altars? Devils. 
not the Holy Ghost. After offering devils, they have forgotten about what God is doing. And that is what denominationalism is about. They don't wait for the counsel of God. But they lasted exceedingly in the wilderness and tempted God in the desert. What, hap what happens in the desert? There is not abundance of anything. Everything is, is in, in, in scarcity in the desert. So these people, because now they have left a land of fruitfulness, where they were seeing the great works of God. Because when the gospel goes, it goes with wonders, signs, and miracles. And then they see a multiplicity of things, of divine action. And these people, Live in a wilderness where these things are not. And what happens to them? They started lasting after things that are not godly. Let us go back and look at, at, at Israel. What happened to them? When these people lived in the time of, of Samuel. There was great abundance of divine attendance. And then they came to Samuel and said, as we look at you, you are about to die. But what about your children? that you had made judges what is happening to them they are not living the way you were living they are accepting bribes they are doing things that, that, that are not uh, in consonance with God's holiness so what happens we want to be like our neighbors. So they started wanting to be like their neighbors. They want a king set. A king set for them. And a rule for them. But now, these people, what is the Bible telling us? They didn't wait. Even if they saw all these things happening, the children of Samuel doing all that evil, they didn't wait for God. And this is what usually happens to us. We don't usually wait for God to take us to the next level. That is what happens in churches. Our churches usually fail. Why? Because when the devil comes and hits the shepherd, they just go to scattering. They don't wait for the counsel of God. Are you with me? That is what happened. These people didn't wait for the counsel of God. And the churches don't wait for the counsel of God. They slide in worldliness which is denominationalism what do they imagine they are imagining they are keeping the faith by ring fencing themselves with creeds and dogmas what is our faith we believe in God. We believe in the Holy Trinity. We believe in the virgin birth. But those are mere creeds. What happens to them? They have 
now not waited for the counsel of God to take them to the next level. But they are lasting after other things. And they tempted God. In, in this place where there is now lacking. And he gave them their request, but sent leanness into their soul. Uh, their souls are eating nothing. Because the food for the soul is the word that comes by revelation. What God takes from undercover and gives to his people as a revival. But because people have hurried ahead of God, they have broken his covenant and therefore is giving their souls to leanness. And as long as the soul is lean, you are not able to pray. You are not able to sit before a someone for 30 minutes without dozing. The soul is lean. You are not going to be able to love to come to become to be coming to church. Why? Jeez. You are forsaking the assembling of together. You are running away from these people who are always gathering before God. Why? Because your soul is lean. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So let us go back to the psalm that I was reading. 22. From um, from verse twenty nine, it says, "All they that sh- that be fat upon the earth shall eat and worship." Those that are not suffering from the leanness in their souls. What will they do? The Bible is telling us they shall eat, eat the word, and worship the same word. Because the word is in their souls. And they are worshipping the God that is in their soul. Oh, praise be the name of the Lord. All they that go down to the dust shall bow before him. And none can keep alive his own soul. There is nobody that is going to be able to do it. I mean these things me I know. Me, I have heard. They are preached, I know. But there is leanness in your soul. There is nothing there to hold even what you hear. So, what happened? Oh, my. You can't keep alive your soul. So, what does God do? A seed shall serve him. It shall be accounted to the Lord for a generation. They shall come and shall declare his righteousness unto a people that shall be born that he has done this. There is so what is your job? Your job is the seed is, is, is the job of multiplication. Declaring the works of God to these people. And then that is what is going to attract them. And you will you will bring 
forth. Children for God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What are we saying? Let us look at the message. Original seed. The spoken word is the original seed. So we are looking at paragraph. Paragraph 446. Find it. I'm sure. What is trying to to tell us? Is that Oku Kuboera? That God has something that He does to make sure that He keeps the fire burning. So it is not a man's work. In this covenant, it is God himself that is doing the job. So it is paragraph 446. Jehovah's bride died. Divorced and took a people out of the Gentiles for his name. Is that right? His name. Like a woman takes a man's name, the bride. Now what she done? The same thing they did the other time. Denominated herself polluted. She polluted herself. But in every generation, every revival brings forth some prophet of God. 
Ulichisisi mugo, chisara o umungosi wawe. A prophet is a preacher. Umungosi abo mubulisi. True preacher on the word. Mubulisi wangali welom. That stays with the word. O ramani ilom. And they bring forth a revival that gathers the elect out of that generation. Ya wama na chasara. Chasara chisisi mugo. So, in every generation, what does God do? He sends out a preacher. And the preacher's job is to go out and gather what is the seed. He doesn't send a certain denomination. Denominations are polluted. They are suffering from leanness. Because there is nothing that is in their souls. Because all the fat, the word of God, that is given to the people, the word of God comes to a prophet. It comes to a preacher. It doesn't come to a denomination. So the denomination of preachers have nothing to give to the people as fatness. So that these people can be able to worship their God. But the covenant that God makes with his people it comes from God direct with a preacher who has been sent by God and then he goes to the Bible and then picks the one do we remember that the Bible is two covenants the old and the new covenant the old and new testament so all that is in the Bible are scriptures that are covenants for certain individuals. That's why the, the day of no cannot work for you today. The day of Moses cannot work for you today. What am I trying to say? I am trying to say that when Moses came with his message there was a certain group of people that he went to hear it and by that same message he delivered and today, if I come with Moses' message, what is it going to do for you? Because they moved from a physical geographical position to another physical geographical position. But today, we are talking about a spiritual covenant which must take you from a certain spiritual condition and take you to another spiritual condition. So if you are in a spiritual Egypt, we are taking you to a spiritual canon. Why? To a perfect walk. That is why Abraham was told to walk before God and be perfect. So we are not taking you to a canon. Which is a millennium. Which is not a which is a place where there is no war. But we are taking you to a place where you have to walk before God as perfect. Are we together? So we are we are we must get a message today that is going to take you before God. And when you are walking in that message, you are walking before. 
before God. That is why we have always said this, you know, this message is not a denomination and it cannot be denominated. So if you want to denominate it, it means God is going to move out and I leave you with the people that I lead how they cannot be able to withstand adultery they cannot withstand the stress of sin because God has gone away Why? Because God is the one performing his own covenant. He tells us in the book of Philippians that it is in him both to will and to do. So he takes his will from the word and then he comes and then he does it in you so after Kale, you wa, have after you have received this message what happens to you let us look at Akubon. Ephesians chapter 2 By FSOTV. Ephesians chapter 2 as By, you have some bit of time Ephesians chapter 2 I first to be from uh, Ephesians chapter 2 from verse 11 I first to be kuna nisha kwiku minandwena What is telling us how for marriage Wherefore remember that ye being in time past gentiles in the flesh who are who are called uncircumcised uncircumcision by that which is called the circumcision in the flesh made by hands ali abwele onyo imushebulire nyenye nga ni mwaba mumbukenga leyo bana abo mumubiri nga mulanjwa ni nabo bakala bakashebewa abalanjwa bakashebewa ni nabo babashebewa mumubiri so the Jews were calling you people uncircumcised. And what, what, what was God telling Ezekiel? People who were uncircumcised, both in the heart and in the flesh, were in the sanctuary of God. And Paul, and Paul is now telling us you who were not saved in those days. You were called uncircumcised by the Jews. Uncircumcised in the heart. Huh? What happened to you? That at that time you were without Christ, being aliens from the commonwealth of Israel and strangers from the covenants of promise. Yes, in the now it's not one. There are many covenants. Why? Because they are going to be made in perpetuity. According to the generations. So the generation that you went. You were not part of it. You are now in this generation. And when you are talking about God. The God of your father. The church of your father. The church of your grandmother. You are, ma you are making yourself. A descendant. And God doesn't have descendants. Whoever comes to God. Is the son or daughter of God. Why? There is power in the word. That transforms you to be a son of God. 
And when you go away, you go with your power. And when God comes again, He goes to another person. That person lives under that power. He multiplies in that generation. Brings God for people. People for God, and then when he goes, the covenant is closed. The, the remaining people are famished with greediness in their souls because they have nothing to feed on. The revelation that came was, was, was brought for those people that were supposed to eat upon that one. And when they have eaten on that one, they offer their bread to God. And then go away. Why? Because God does not have grandchildren. Every time, he has got to bring something new for his people. Because manna was picked every day. If you kept it overnight, it got maggots in it. So the, the, the message of yesterday, devils have infiltrated. They are already in there. They have taken away the power. I attended Brother Wegoye's burial. And then, Ari, the, 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 the protestants were, wanted to kidnap the funeral. But when the preacher came, he picked one scripture which I really loved. And he said, by faith, when Moses Musa of, became of age, he rejected he called the son of daughters, I mean Pharaoh's daughter. And what were these saying? He was the son of a clergyman. So we are, we, we, we are saying. So we are saying. He must be buried like a son of a clergyman. But when he came of age. When he himself had grown up. And you see the bishop came and said. Bishop me, I came to my uncle here he says, and I asked him about what his son was doing. And then he said, if Sam has found a God that can take away madness from him, that can also take away smoking from him, that can also take Drunkardiness from him. Let him go with that God. So, when God comes in your generation, in a nutshell, he has to give you power to overcome sin. So that is the God that we worship who puts strength in your soul to determine your destiny to know that there is a place that I am bound to go. God has reserved it for me and God wants me there but now like David desired. What was he desiring? He was desiring the waters of Bethlehem. And there were guards everywhere. But it was 15 miles away. And the Philistine garrisons had roadblocks along the way. But now, those who had David desiring, 
the soldiers, the bodyguards of David, rose up with strength and the fought through until they brought the water to David. You must have power in you to fight the roadblocks, the devil. Along the way that hinder you to get the promise. Do you know what Bethlehem is? House of God's bread. The devils that will keep you famished. When you send your soul in this, you must have the power to fight them. Open the way and get to the bread in the, in the house of God. So that you are able to start again as seed in your day. Are you able to fight against those who make fun of your hair? They are actually devils fighting against you. The holy cover of your head. What about you, man? Are you able to fight against those devils that laugh at you when you sit with your wife? And then what says, <laughs> I just can't keep a woman around me wherever I go. <laughs> wherever I go, I am with a woman. I understand my wife. Are you able to fight those demons? They are demons. Making you shy away from your wife. So that they, they capture you in adultery. You cannot even want to tell your wife. Let me take you out. You can't even be what Kutuma there. Buy a soda. Sit, just sit where, sit on the veranda with her. Undertake the soda with her. When all people are watching, and then hold her hand. And walk back home with her. How can they see a real man like me with a woman? Like that? There must be power in your soul. To fight those devils. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Glory to God. What are we saying? We are still in Ephesians chapter 2. Verse 5. Ephesians chapter 2. So, this covenant Tindakano, you know? Are many. Why are they many? Because they are made for individuals. In the time that you have come to live, God makes a covenant with you. He brings down the message that is going to help you fight the demons that is going to help you understand what you are battling against. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So, God makes your covenant for you. But now, in Christ Jesus, ye who sometime were far off are made nigh by the blood of Christ. What is the blood of Christ? Because God himself Decided to put on flesh. Calm down on the poor blood. And that blood 
Kama vitye. Was the sacrifice. Ya haba niye mbosero. That was made for you. Ya kole wena kuruo. But now how does it come? Aritere. Because it is not chemistry. Uruwe kube kalikari o kesu tati. It comes as the word revealed in your day. Kama vitye koketa ngeno mo imbi kule mbosero. Which you apply in your soul. Yes, uramu na bala muyo. As a peace offering. Inga. So that God can accept you. So that God can be your friend. So that God can listen when you are talking. So that God can answer you when you have made your request. Why? Because it is life that is in you. That is now correlating with God. When God looks at you, He looks at the blood. He looks at the life. And says that life is mine. The life that is in that person is just like mine. It's actually my life. So whatever He says, and He says it, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the life of Jesus Christ. As Jesus Christ would have said it. In other words. It is Christ in you. That is speaking to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So what happens? God must give you what you are asking for. Because it is actually himself that is desiring it. What is he? Jehovah Jireh supplying to himself the life that is in you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So he's telling us and that he might reconcile both unto God in one body by the cross having slain the enemy to their own. Nyoda na anyale kukwa angwanis. Pyo mita. Mumuvili mutwe. Gavire musarabu. Gawamba lide husara. Busiku. Buli mubwe nemu. The enemy that was in the flesh. What made you an enemy of God is when man was slaughtered into the flesh. When man became flesh, that is when he was vulnerable and that is when he fell. And in the flesh is where man becomes an enemy of God. And in the same flesh, is where God wants to come and abide so that he can make a relationship again with God. How does he do it? And I came and preached peace to you which were afar off and them that were nigh. And I came and preached peace to you which so he starts by preaching the word. So when the word has been preached, that is peace. That is what God is offering to you. His peace, the word of God, meaning peace to you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And that peace makes you acceptable before God. That's why the Bible tells us that when Jesus Christ came, he preached the acceptable year. The word of peace. The word of reconciliation. The word that would bring people to recognize who they are and understand which direction they should go to. Turning around themselves by repenting of their sin. They can't repent of their sin because they will not have understood without preaching to these people. That's what exactly Paul says. They 
can't believe unless there is a preacher. So the word of God must be held in the hands of a preacher. And that's why God, like we read from the message, sends down the message through a preacher. So that the preacher demonstrates the peace of God to you. He brings the love of God to you. He makes you understand that God is on your side. It's you who is refusing. It is you, like Jonah said, who is forsaking your own mercies by refusing God. Thank you, Lord. So, for through him, we both have access by one spirit unto the Father. So, what gives us access? It's the life that is in us. And that's, that, that spirit is life. And that spirit is the word. So he comes as the word. And when he has come as the word, you receive him as a spirit. And that's the way you are going to access God. And when God is looking at you through his spirit, he sees his blood. That is what the covenant he has made with you. The blood. Not to destroy you. Oh, we are very tired. We are very tired. Now, therefore, you are no more strangers. Because God was complaining. Strangers have come in my house. They are circumcised in both in flesh and heart. But he is telling us we are no more strangers. We are no more foreigners. But we are citizens. Praise be the name of the Lord. What makes us citizens? It is the spirit. Because we have come in the land of the spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. The land of plenty. Where we are eating. Where we are drinking. Where we are having the energy. To rise up. Like David. Had the energy. To rise up. Like David. Was able to rise up. Against Goliath. Why? He was eating. On the word in the wilderness. He was eating of the testimonies of God's power. He was back in the wilderness. When Saul. Who had been denominated now. What had he become? Famished in the soul. He was not able to go out to war. He was, not, he was defeated by demons. But here is a David. The David is. It didn't matter what his size was. But he was looking at what was in his soul. He was looking at what was in his soul. If it was ever to destroy. If I was able to be healed from that cancer. If I was able to be healed. From madness. If I was able to stop smoking. If I was able to stop quarreling with my neighbor. Then that is that thing is able to take me over. And I capture the other demon. Blessed be the name of the Lord. What are we looking at? Now we are citizens. With the saints in the household of God. And how are we built? We are built upon the testimony of the, of the apostles and the prophets that God sends with messages on this earth. And Jesus Christ himself being 
the revelation that holds these people together. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And then they are building a building by that the messages that we receive. We are building something. Something that must work. Something that must hold power as work as a house of God. Get your way. An arsenal. An arsenal of power. If God wants to do anything on earth. He comes to pick any one of you. Glory to God. Why? We are not going to look in heaven. Because God is building power on earth. And that power is in his individuals. So that these are the people who are going to take the devil to task and tell him to release the sick. Tell him to release the drunkards. Tell him to release the adulterers, the fornicators, to release everyone that has been bound by the devil. Why? God has built an arsenal on earth where his spirit is coming to dwell. He says it in verse 22. In whom he has built dead together an habitation of God through the spirit. An habitation of God through the Spirit. Huh? The word that has been preached that is placing peace between you and God. What is it, it doing? Way? It is making a way for the same word to turn into the Spirit. That is going to, to inhabit your soul. And that spirit dwelling in your soul makes God be very present there. That God when? who will want to take his arm and then act is going to take off his spirit spirit that dwells in you and then act anyhow on earth to fulfill his covenant in your day. But what are we saying? The covenant has been broken. Jesus Christ in Laodicea has been, has been divorced. Yes, Christ, He's not in the church. Which means the church is no longer powerful. If the church is no longer powerful, what is God doing? God is going to open again. According to Malachi 3, He's going to send a messenger. And that messenger, when He comes, what is He going to do? He's going to declare. Blessed be the name of the Lord. He's going to declare the habitation of God. And then prepare that house so that the God that the people seek will come and inhabit his temple. Yes. You are seeking God. You are seeking God. But how will you how will you God come to you. God is going to come to you. When you are going to take the message. Of your messenger this day. And put it in your heart. And that is God. Being restored. In the covenant. That he has made for you. By the messenger who has come. In this day defining who God is. Telling you that God is not three, but God is a spirit. When he comes, he dwells in you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And when he's dwelling in you, he's able 
Anyale. to perform the impossible to bring everything that he has spoken yes, in your day to come to pass. So what is what's the mystery? The mystery today is the mystery of godliness being done what? Revealed God himself put in the open when he's living in the human being. Today, he's not living in the flesh that was called Jesus Christ. But he has made a covenant with you. Come, as you empty yourself, then he comes to fill you. And when he's living in you, he's going to make the difference between Akari. the denominations hey, Kamatuli. and the you Ninawe. whom he calls his seed. Yes, Blessed be the name of the Lord. Well, the seed of God that has been revived in the end time. Because he says Ulema. the seed must come through a body. Ulema. Which body? Ulema. His church. Ulema. Ulema. His church Ulema. is not a denomination. Ulema. What is his church? Ulema. It is a member it is a people called from left and right put together by the message of their day covenant of their day and then when they have been put together God knows knows that what is remaining is the firework from heaven to come down. That is what happened on the day of Pentecost. When these people received the message of their messenger, the messenger of the covenant, and that is Christ Jesus, they went and waited for the feeling of the Holy Ghost in the upper room. Today, what are you doing? You will be doing nothing unless you are waiting on the feeling of the person of Christ in your life. And that is the covenant that God is trying to make with you. And what have people done today? And thankful. Yes, we are thankful. What was I talking about? The unthankful protagonist of the end time. The unthankful adherence to the faith of the end time covenant. Correct. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Where are you, now? you are seated but unthankful that God has revealed to you something. Something that is unimaginable. Something glorious. What is the glory of the thing that God is coming to partner with a man? And then Are. that man Omundu. is going to receive the glory Omundu. that God should have received. Yes, wele and Blessed be the name of the Lord. When God Ngawe. came down Nekas. to partner with Moses, whatever was done in Egypt was done by God. But today, when you read the Bible, it is Moses who did whatever was done in, in Egypt. And today, we are talking about the bride. God is coming down. And when God comes down, he is going to do those things. And what is he going to do? He is going to put back missing limbs. But what is he saying? The bride is going to do it. The bride is going to speak. Missing limbs on the people. So you are going to partner with God. To do the mighty work. To do the greater work. To do those things. That are in the covenant. Multiply you. You will fruit exceedingly. Yes, the fruit of your own seed that you planted is what you are going to eat off. 
Blessed be the name of the Lord. The glory of God is going to be received by the bride. The believer. But they are thankful at this time. They are walking away from it. What are they saying? It's too harsh. Uh, it is full of too many laws. But we, what, which thing does not have law? Life itself is a law. It is a law. Yes. But life is a law. If you are living, you are living. Lawfully, you are living according to what life demands. If life dictates that you eat, will you not? Will you? Will you? Will you go hungry? It is the law of life to eat. So, if the law of life dictates. Then the law of life in Christ Jesus must yes. dictate certain things for you in order to enter that glory. You cannot over, you cannot bypass the dictates of this life. And go, the, go for the glory. That's why the prophet preached the message invisible union which he said was a thanksgiving message why God had revealed the mysteries that were hid in the generations but now he had, been, he had put them open before him and the same there is is being passed you receive them. Why should you why shouldn't you give thanks to God? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because those are the mysteries that are going to fill your soul with fatness, with the bread of life. And then when you offer them to God, God is going to see a sweet aroma. And when he sees the sweet aroma, one will forgive your sin. After he has forgiven your sin, he will make you a candidate of eternal life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I am not seeing anyone thankful. If your sins have been forgiven, if your sins have been forgiven, and you really know that your sins have been forgiven, why can't you be thankful to God? And then, after your sins have been forgiven, and you know you are a candidate of eternal life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because when they talk about death, it's not a threat to you anymore. It is in history. Why? Because that when I pass on from this life, I'm going to go under the throne of God. Waiting. Waiting for what? For the last man in my generation to come. And what shall we get? We shall get the reward. What is the reward? What is the reward? The reward is sitting with him in his throne. Even as his son overcame. Even as his son overcame. And also sat in his throne. That is entering into the kingdom of God. That is entering into eternal life. But you must exercise yourself. Please exercise yourself. In here. In the world here. For people to see you. To know. That really is the candidate. Of the kingdom of heaven. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord.
Glory to his name. Glory to his name. And there to my heart was the blood, the blood. Glory to his name. So on the cross where my sin died. Now we are for cleansing from sin I died. Yeah, to my heart. Was the blood, the blood? Glory, glory, glory to His name. Oh, hallelujah! Glory to His name. Oh, yes, glory.
day and be made complete my story glory to his name hallelujah himself yes to come and determine the fate of his people by and today blessed even the father we are thankful to you God because thou hast determined our fate thou hast known precious heavenly father which way we have to go and king of glory that voice coming from behind telling us this is the way Walk in it. We are thankful, Lord, that there is a way that has been made for us out of sin and into eternity. My Savior, thou art worthy, thou art, Lord Jesus, the whole thing that we need. Yes, that's why Abraham was told to walk before God. And he would be perfect. He would be whole. He would lack nothing. Whatever Lord Jesus was in his need would be answered by El Shaddai. Yes, is it sickness? Blessed be the name of the Lord. El Shaddai would answer any weakness in our life, precious Heavenly Father. Every groan, my God, is going to be answered by our Shaddai. We need the strength this day to move forward, to go.
go against the devil to mark well precious heavenly father where he is my savior that is what was told to Ruth mark well where he lieth thank you Jesus and today blessed heavenly father we are looking precious Lord at what has been said we want to mark well where Christ is in this day. Thank you, Lord. That way, Lord Jesus, when we find you, we shall have found everything.
I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood. I know it was the blood for me. Oh, one day when I was lost, they died upon the cross. I know it was the blood. Jesus 
see the name of the Lord. Jesus is the name. loving and heavenly father my God again we are grateful Lord Jesus that you began this service Lord God how we enjoyed the song precious heavenly father we enjoyed the testimony and bless the Lord Jesus your word has gone forth precious father there is nothing king of glory that we can know is higher and better than the world. Master, we are only saying, Lord, we are thankful that you gave us the word in this generation. It's that word that has made us what we are. And our confession, Lord, is according to the same word. After all, confession is repeating what has been said of God. Thank you, Lord, that you gave us the mysteries. And the King of Kings, that you have made a covenant with us in this day, where victory over sin is sure. Where Lord Jesus, yes, the yes. millennium is sure, and eternity is unfolding. We want to thank you, precious Father, that let us not be here as Lord Jesus, but let us be participants in this covenant and therefore candidates of the promises that we have. We want to thank you for every healing that has taken place. We want to thank you for everyone that has offered themselves unto you, Lord. We want to thank you for every surrender every decision that has made, been made to go forward. Blessed Lord, we are grateful, Father, that it is you that has always been dealing with us in our home. It is the Lord that has given us successful family altars. It is the Lord that has given us everything, Lord, that is in the physical that we enjoy. May your name be blessed. That's why, Lord Jesus, we are saying, may we go with you as we leave this place. You brought us safely, and my God, you are taking us back home safely. We are asking for your traveling masses, and we are, we are asking for the cover of your blood upon us against every situation of the devil. Lord of mercy, we want to commit everybody in your hands. We want to thank you for, this so for the song leader. We want to thank you, Lord Jesus, for the musicians. We want to thank you for the deacons. We want to thank you for the trustees. Above all, we want to thank you for our past. My God, we are looking at that time when we are going to be reunited under this roof. 
when Lord Jesus you have brought him back safely and filled with the good with thy goodness touch his flesh my God that at the end of the day glory will return to thee we bless your name Father the schools Lord Jesus who are open tomorrow again but we are praying for our children especially the girls that may go under persecution because of her and other things we pray against every devil that is hunting them is it a devil of fornication is it a devil of backsliding in any form we are praying Father that your blood may cover them glory and honor return unto thee blessed be thy name we believe you have answered our prayer in Jesus name Amen Amen Iwewe nyene Yesu Iwewe nyeno nyala wanje ta Iwewe Yesu Iwewe nyeno nyala wanje ta Iwewe nyene Yesu Iwewe nyeno nyala wanje ta Who 
Rama Eta Soye Kumuli Lo Yesu Oshi Bala Shosi Shiri Ni Kwisaya Kuba Mamba Oku Kukura Yesu Papa we kamani We can orama okura se Hallelujah Iwe wenyini 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 nyala wangita Yesu Amen. Amen.